In this quick tip, I'm going to show you one of my favorite nodes in the library, which makes it really easy to add water to your materials. Let's check it out. Okay, so here you can see we have a pretty destroyed bathroom tile material. And now I'd like to add some water to it to show that it's been flooded. So what we can do is we can switch into link category mode up at the top here, and that's going to combine my connections together so that we can use the material workflow and we can easily patch in those connections wherever we need to in a much quicker fashion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag a connection off here to bring up quick search, and I'm gonna type in water. And this is gonna highlight the material effect water node. So I'm gonna hit enter. Okay, so I'm gonna right click on the water node and I'm gonna say preview as 3D material. And there you go. You can see we've added some water easily to our bathroom tiles. You can quickly see how this is one of my favorite nodes in our library. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna to go to its properties and you can see we have this water level property and I can bring this up and easily flood our bathroom tiles here. Now you'll notice that the water is looking a bit murky. It's looking a little bit soft in there and that's because of this water depth effect that we have. So if I decrease this density effect, you can see the water gets a lot more clear and it matches the depth of the water in our material. Much better. So I just briefly wanted to mention that the material effect water node is one of the many material effects that Instamat has. And we can find those by going up to the top left here and going to the graph library panel or pressing one on your keyboard. And then we can go down to the material category and then the effects category. You can see we have a few here, including the dirt and dust material effects as well. And of course, you can also use quick search to quickly bring them into the canvas as well. So now let's take a look at another example here. I've got this roots ground material here and let's add some water. So I'm going to right click and preview the material effect water node here and we've added some water in. And now another effect that we have in this water node is the shore wetness. So if I increase the level here you can see that the surrounding areas around the water are also getting damp. We can make this a lot more realistic and so if I adjust the light you can see that the rest of that grass and those roots are also getting wet as well as the puddles. And so now for a little more fun, I want to show you one more material where we get to add water to the moon. So I'm going to right click on the material effect water node again, preview as 3D material to see what we're doing in our viewport. And now I'm just going to bring up the water level and we can add some water to the moon. Really, really cool. And so I just wanted to bring attention to one more effect that's built into this node, and that is the raindrops effect. So if I bring up the density, you can see that we can also add rain to the moon as well. And if I zoom in here, we also have this curvature smear property. So if I decrease and increase that, you can see that the raindrops can conform to the underlying height surface of the material as well. It's really cool and I can drag down the opacity and I can also change the scale of the raindrops as well. Really awesome. And so with the material effect water node, you can really easily add water to any of your materials. Thanks for checking out this quick tip on the material effect water node. There are lots of cool effects you can apply to your materials and if you'd like to learn more about them, you can check out our YouTube channel. There, you can find an ever-increasing library of videos teaching you the ins and outs of Instamat. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, drop us a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. For the latest news about Instamat, please visit our website and follow us on Twitter. You can find all the links in the video description below. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one.